Hey there everybody, Frozen Puck Gaming here to go over the Eastside Hockey Manager Early Access Edition version 15.6.0. You know, like changeless. So if you hear any rumbling in the background, it's actually storming right now, so it's like thundering. Um, so I'm going to try to get this done with quick so I can get it uploaded in case the power goes out. You never know. But um, let's get right into it. So it's obviously got some bug fixes and that kind of stuff. Um, and I'll leave the link to the change list in the description. You might have to sign up for a forum account. It only takes a minute. So the new features added the Austrian League and um, did some database import changes for the 2014 rules. So it adjusted financial information for Austrian League and its related nations. Separate nation slash Uyghur league wage adjustment factors added for non-playing wages added rule for russian league to prevent loans between teams in the same league and um some stuff for the 2006 rules so some gameplay changes you know more optimization to present scheduling clashes with the international dates in april so that'll be helpful you know you won't have like nhl like players um that need to be on the international team like during the playoffs or whatever I think that's what that means improved AI evaluation of players offered in trades who have only recently been acquired from free agency or waivers fixed RFA filtering results in player search tweaked AI for scoring candidates to trade when push against the cap adjusted interest to join a club as an assistant coach for staff with the preferred job um, adjusted minimum wage not playing wages player budgets in relation to minimum expected wages. Um, there were also adjustments to the AI manager shortlisting and signings to fill minimum rosters even at smaller clubs. So There are also adjustments to free agent contract demands when unsigned for a longer period of time. So hopefully if they're unsigned for a long time they might take like a um, pay cut. Like if they want a 5 mil and they weren't signed maybe they like a year or two goes by there a couple months into the season they'll be like oh crap i, I want to get signed they'll get like take a cut for like three mil maybe adjust the re-signing of star players in russian league removed unnecessary scouting update news items sent with next opponent scouting improvements to ai cap management and long-term roster planning so you know they'll plan for the future better instead of just some um, spending money on players like i do um <laughs> Fix waiver claims processing to check human vacant vacation options for shortlisted players only when on vacation and um, adjusted scoring of candidates for voting for the best goaltender award so the Vezina trophy will be a little bit more realistic. Added a cancel button for select a based dialogue when starting a new game so if you screw up you know you can go back and change that which was kind of annoying because I accidentally did some regular um, databases and you would have to go all the way through and then go back out and start again. Updated tutorial screen for starting a new career game. Speaking of which, I might be doing a basic guide um, for new players to the game. Adjusted UFA or RFA filter types in search filters dialog. Fix missing club logos on upcoming games on schedule snapshot panel on home screen. Added second nationality column to other view on the club roster screen. Best cold tending voting screen now to plays only the regular season statistics like it should. The Vesna Trophy is only about the regular season, not the playoffs as well. Added ad rights option for Russian League trade screen. And some finally, some other changes. Small layout changes to scout next opponent news. Fixed staff history trade information for players. Trade a well on loan. Fixed players loan back to previous teams in Europe from being recalled early in the season. Fine-tune contract demand strings for cases where demand was high. Blah, blah, blah. Who cares? Um... Well, anyway, if you want to read through this for yourself, I suggest doing so because I'm not good at explaining anything and you could probably look at it better because I'm, I'm just kind of skimming through it. Um, I'll leave the link in the description. So thanks for watching. Subscribe for more Eastside Hockey Manager videos and um, stay tuned. There should be a video out today barring my power doesn't go out. So have a great day and um, see you tomorrow.